Welcome on board folks. Today we are going to take a look at the heart of a mega ship that is the engine room. I am your host Chief Officer Bimlesh Kumar Singh and I am going to take you around the ship's engine room from where all this marvelous engineering and the movement of the ship took place. So let's go and dive into the video. The engine room is the powerhouse of the mega ship responsible for generating the enormous amount of power needed to propel these massive vessels across the seas. Let's dive in and see how it all works. This is one of the main diesel engines that powers the ship. It's a behemoth of a machine, standing several stories tall and weighing hundreds of tons. It's capable of generating tens of thousands of horsepower, making it one of the most powerful engines in the world. The engine is connected to an extensive network of pipes that carry fuel, lubricants and coolant throughout the ship. These pipes are carefully designed to ensure smooth and efficient operation and they require constant monitoring and maintenance to keep the engine running at its peak performance. The engine room is a highly controlled environment and strictly safety protocols in place. The engineers who work here are highly trained professionals who are responsible for the maintenance and operation of the ship's engines. Working in the engine room of a mega ship is like being a world of its own. These engines are massive and complex, requiring constant attention to ensure they run smoothly. We monitor various parameters such as temperature, pressure and fuel consumption and make adjustments as needed to keep the engines operating efficiently. The control room is the nerve center of the engine room, where the ship's engineer closely monitor the performance of the engines. Using advanced computer systems, these computer systems provide real-time data on various parameters, allowing the engineers to make informed decisions to optimize the engine's performance. The engine room is not only about raw power, it's also about efficiency. These engines are designed to be highly efficient as mega ship consume vast amount of fuel during their voyages. Advanced technologies such as Waste heat recovery system and exhaust cat scrubbers are used to minimize the environmental impact of these massive engines. Routine inspection and maintenance are crucial in engine room. The ship crew conducts regular checks on the engines including cleaning, oil changing and part replacements that ensures the engine remains in optimal condition and can operate safely and efficiently. So let's go and see what all parts the engine is made up of. The engine is made up of various components including pistons, cylinders and crankcrafts all working together in a perfect harmony. It's the symphony of me mechanical precision that keeps the ship on course and at full speed. The boiler which are responsible for generating the steam that powers the engine. These boilers are fed with fuel such as oil or gas and use heat to produce high pressure steam. The steam is then channeled into the engine where it expands and drives the piston, creating mechanical energy to propel the ship. The crankcraft is a vital part of the ship's engine responsible for converting the reci reciprocating motion of the pistons into rotary motion that drives the ship's propeller. Without a properly functioning crankcraft, the engine would not be able to convert the linear motion of the pistons into the rotary motion required to drive the ship. Let's move on to the other parts of the engine room. So here what you are seeing right now that is a fresh water generator. This is our engine room workshop where we do all the workshop jobs, maintenance job. These are the air bottles, air cylinder bottles which are used to rotate the shaft. These are the various pumps, ballast pumps, lube oil pumps, fuel oil pumps and their controllers. These are the piping system which are connecting to the fuel line 
from the engine room to the fuel oil tank the thing which you are looking at now these are the ballast pump number 1 number 2 and also the fuel oil pumps number 1 number 2 we have different connections which are connected through these pumps this is your sea water pump number 1 and here you are going to see the ballast pump their pressure gauges all are fitted properly this is ballast water pump number 2 which take the suction from the sea which is used to take the ballast on board these are the ballast lines and let's move on to the number 1 number 2 your gs pump the other most important thing is your auxiliary engine so these are the generators auxiliary generators which are provided to give the electrical supply to the ship to run the electrical fittings bridge equipments and other important critical equipments on board the ship hope you like my video if you like my video please share and do subscribe my channel thank you see you next video